Oh, I'm so glad you're back. We miss you. Yes. Glad you're all back. The house is full today. Yes. Before we begin singing this beautiful song, it's such a special song. Just want to let you guys know that next week we won't be here. We'll be with Brandon Lake and Phil Wickham and um, so many other worship leaders um, at our worship conference in Orlando. So we won't be here. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'm so excited. Um, my sweet Eric surprised me with those tickets for my birthday. So we bought it since I think September. And I am so excited, ecstatic because I haven't been to a worship conference in, in 20 years. So anyways, yeah. So before we start, um, I want, uh, would you please read that scripture to us? Enter his gates and with thanksgiving, with his courts of praise, give thanks to him. Bless his name, yes. for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, Lord. I want to share a short little testimony. Um, right after I gave birth to Ethan, 13 plus years ago, um, uh, I had my little surgery, and um, they gave me too much anesthesia. Is that that, that thing that numbs you, right? Well, anyways, they gave me too much, and I was paralyzed for like two hours. I was paralyzed, and I laid there in bed, and I was think, uh, talking to the Lord inside my heart. I'm like, God, I can't imagine living life with three little boys paralyzed. I don't want anything, Lord, except a grateful heart. Please, please give me a grateful heart. I want to be thankful for every little thing that you give me, God. And um, I believe with all my heart that um, based on the scriptures and many other scriptures in the Bible that tells us to approach God's throne with thankfulness, come to him with thanksgiving and praise. I believe as a mom of three sons, I don't think anything touches my heart greater than when my son says, thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. And it's the same with us, you know, with God our Father. It doesn't matter what we're going through. It does not matter. If we could just wake up every morning and say, thank you, Father. Thank you for the breath in my lungs. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my sons. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my loved ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I believe that if we live in a continual state of gratitude and thanksgiving, there is nothing, not only does it touch our Father's heart, and it put a big smile on his heart, but there's nothing that he will withhold from us. So I pray that you would worship the Lord with us with a grateful and thankful heart and count all your blessings, amen? amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Owen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. All my words fall short. I've got nothing new. How could I express all my gratitude? If I could sing these songs as I often do, but every song I sing, and you never do. So I throw the All that I have in my heart is you. 